Welcome to the JC Uplift. That is not the theme song. I totally just made that up. Okay, sorry. Hi, Miss Pam. Sorry for the pause. I have an alarm on every 45 minutes to remind me to drink water. And it totally just interrupted the live. Miss Pam out there leaving. Look, this is a family affair. Hey, guys. Welcome, 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 welcome to the JC Uplift. Welcome to the. I think we should have a theme song. I think I'm gonna get a theme song popping for the JC Uplift. That's all you want in the Welcome to the JC Uplift. I'm excited about tonight because we're gonna do some some practical things. Okay, we're gonna some. We're going to put some practicality to what we're doing and what we're believing for. Thank you, Miss Pam. I appreciate you. Hey, Chris. It's my mentee. Hey, Reese. Look at you. Hey, girl. Fashion icon. Okay, we're going to get started because I'm super excited. Thank you. Okay, so... Um, for those people that are new, my name is Gisela McKeel. A lot of people call me Jazz. And um, I am a creative branding and lifestyle photographer. I have my own business, Gisela McKeel Photography. I also have a blog called Gisela's Closet. Hey. Hey, Marcus. Hey, Marcus. <laughs> I also have a blog called Gisela's Closet <laughs> where I carry on the legacy of my dear grandmother, um, Dr. Gisela D. McGrew through um, fashion, focus on entrepreneurship, faith and family. So I created the JC Uplifts um, just to give a quick uplifting word for entrepreneur, business-minded people, people in general, and then we're gonna pray, then we're gonna be done. Okay, it's gonna be like 10, 15 minutes of your time, okay? So I'm really excited um, about tonight because I'm going to share with you guys my miracle journal. Excuse me. Now, if you have been on the JC Uplifts recently, um, I talked a little bit about the miracle journal. And tonight, I finally was like, okay, let's talk about the miracle journal. Okay. And so, the mir my miracle journal all started because I watched Crazy Faith series by... Pastor Michael Todd. Um, it literally changed my life, truly and honestly. Because um, I I've been knowing some things about faith, but that just like blew everything up. So um, that really that crazy faith series I'm tuning in every week. It it changed my life, and so from watching about faith, um, this is all based on faith. Okay, so if you do not know what faith is, um, faith is the substance of things hoped for and evidence of things not seen or believing God for something that you have not yet seen, but you believe that he is able and he will do it no matter what the circumstances look like. That's what faith is. Okay, and so um, we're going to talk about the miracle journal. Okay, so I have a journal right here that I have coined the miracle journal and um, it says walk by faith and not by sight and what this miracle journal is I write in it every day and if I miss a day I go back and think about the things that God has done so basically it is just an account of the miracles God does for me every single day okay I want to break down miracles because when we think about miracles usually we think about like raising somebody from the dead Yes, that's a miracle. Okay. We think about these like huge things that are super hella impossible. Those are miracles. Yes, those are. But I want us to break down miracles and change our perspective about miracles. Okay. So I looked up miracles and I, it's a lot of definitions, but I got the definition that I like the best. <laughs> okay. So miracle events, it actually said an event. Um, so marvelous that it seems like it was sent from God. Okay. 
Now, I want to change that from one event to events because I want us to get out of the mindset of a miracle being this one huge thing that happens. And I want us to get into the mindset of miracle being daily. God daily blesses us with miracles. Okay. Amazing, marvelous things that only he can do to me. That's what miracles are. And so once I start listening to crazy faith, okay, and I got what I want, what my crazy faith things were, okay, um, I start thinking about what God is doing on the day, on a daily basis, all right? So if you've been watching, you know, one of my big things that I'm believing God for is that money comes into my account every single day. I am a full-time entrepreneur, been so for two years and my thing is that money comes to me every day okay so that's one of my big crazy faith things okay i have a few more but i'll let y'all know those when they manifest okay so the first thing to starting a miracle journal and i'm gonna kind of tell you how i did my miracle journal is i wrote down the things i'm believing god for the big things right yes we're believing god for health and wealth and we're believing God for things like that. But like the huge things, right? They, they seem like super hella impossible. Okay. Those are things I wrote down in here first. Well, not super hella impossible because things are possible, but I need them to be sent by God and not in my own doing. Okay. Because there's a difference between you doing something, your own doing, and then God just blessing you and giving you favor where he can, where he gets the glory. Okay. So first thing, first step of the miracle journal. Write down your crazy faith miracles, your crazy faith things you want from God, okay? Do you want that super great promotion? Do you want to get paid every single day of your life, okay? Do you want this amazing marriage? Do you want, I don't know what you want, right? But the first thing in doing a miracle journal is writing down what you want and being super clear, okay? First step. Second step is you actually have to pray to God and use your faith for these things, okay? So, I started my miracle journal on, let's see here, August 13th. It literally says August 13th, listen to Crazy Faith by Pastor Michael Todd, okay? Then I said August 16th, wrote down what I'm believing God for. August 17th, I got paid, okay? August 18th. Kept speaking words of expectation, bigger vision. So when I first started this thing, it, it has kind of developed. It first started as just the blessings and the miracles God has given me every day. Because if you change your perspective, you actually can see that God actually does bless you with miracles every day. You just may not be opening your eyes to see that they're miracles. Okay. I remember one time I wrote in here. I don't remember what day this was. I wrote in here, God blessed me with this parking spot. This, I, I was in Denton. Y'all saw, if y'all been following me, y'all know I was in Denton. I was in Denton. There literally were no parking spots. Literally. No parking spots. Okay. Then, all of a sudden, there, there was this one parking spot that was just for me. Everybody else was looking for parking spots. But no, I got the parking spot. Me and my line sisters got the parking spot. I put that in my miracle journal. So it's all about changing your perspective so you can start receiving those miracles every day, okay? Because God, like, gets fueled off of thanksgiving, right? So you'd be like, hey, God, I saw you. He gets, like, fueled by that, just like we do, right? Just like we we get fueled. If you're in a relationship or a friendship and you, um, someone just thanks you all the time and you feel appreciated, that fuels you to, like, do things, right? That's how God is. Except when you thank God in advance, he does bigger and greater and more mighty things that you can ever imagine. Okay? So, for today, I'm going to give y'all an action step. And your action step is to get a journal. I love journals. I buy journals all the time. I literally have about seven blank journals at home because I buy them. But I love journals. If you don't like buying journals, get a piece of paper, get a notepad. It doesn't matter. But your homework today, ladies and gentlemen, I used to be a teacher before I was a full-time entrepreneur. Your homework today is to 
get a miracle journal. I mean, get a journal. Call it what you want. I call my miracle journal because I write down the miracles that God blesses me with. Excuse me. Every single day. And what this does, first of all, it builds a heart of gratitude when you see that, okay, wow, I'm thankful that God blessed me with a parking spot today. It was a miracle today that I got paid. It was a miracle today that this happened. It's a miracle today that the man I'm believing for called me. Whatever you want to say your miracle was, right? That can be your miracle. So your charge is to first get a journal or a piece of paper or something. I would say a journal so you can keep up with it. And write down big things that you want from God. Big things. Dreams. Is it pausing? Okay, it paused. I don't know why. But write down your big things. Okay, that's the first thing I did. I wrote down my big things. Then, every single day, write down small miracles. Okay? So, okay, check this out. And it's really cool because, like, once you start looking back, you can see how God is answering your prayers. It's very cool. Right? So, again, I told y'all, my thing is I will get paid every single day. So, even on the days that I don't get paid yet, okay, I write down someone inquired on my website or I met this person that gave me favor. Because you can look through that and you can see, oh, snap, like three weeks ago, God put this person in my life. Now, this person is paying me on a daily. So, you can kind of start, like processing and seeing what God is doing in your life. It's very, very super, super, super powerful. So homework, get a journal, write the big things down so you can start recognizing the miracles that God does in your life every single day. Okay? It's powerful. And then I'm going to check on y'all so y'all can let me know. Okay? Every JC Uplift won't be about the miracle journal, but I do want y'all to check, like, let me know how your miracle journals are going, okay? DM me, write on my comment, post, or whatever you want to do so you can see what God is doing in your life. And that allows you to open your heart and open your eyes to see the amazing miracles that God is doing every day, okay? All right. Oh, and the Bible verse for this week is Acts 19 and 11. God did powerful things through Paul. And so once you have your miracle journey, you can see the powerful things that God is doing through you. Okay. Okay. So that's the JC Uplift today. We're going to pray and we're going to pray for miracles today. And we're going to pray for... We're, we're going to pray for miracles today. If you have prayer requests, specific prayer requests, you can email Closet at gmail.com. Or you can DM me, okay? All right, say so already. All right, here we go. All right, dear Heavenly Father, thank you so much for this time that you've given us. So God, thank you for being just such a great guy. Thank you for having a plan for us. That's what your word says. Your word says that you have a really wonderful plan for us, Father God. So I pray that we just submit to you. I pray that everything that concerns us, we give it to you. We surrender it to you so that you're able to do your plan, Father God. I pray for miracles on a daily basis in the lives of people that hear my voice. I pray, Lord God, that you, you allow us to have the heart to just open to see that you are a great God and that you are a God that loves us and cares for us and wants the best for us, Lord God. And so we just want to say thank you so much for that. I pray, Lord God, that you just continue to work miracles in our lives. I thank you for supernatural favor. I thank you that everything that our hand touches, it um, prospers. I thank you we have money coming from the north, south, east, and west. I thank you we have opportunities coming, Father. The Lord, Father God, I thank you, Jesus, that you just continue to bless our families, our friends, Father God. And I thank you, Lord God, that when, when you create miracles in our lives, I pray that it's not by what we do, Father God, but it's the fact that we're believing you. And it's the fact that you get the glory and you get the honor. And it's all so we can bring people closer to you, Father God. We love you so much. I pray for this week. I pray, Lord God, that you just bless this week. You bless people on their jobs, Lord God, in their businesses, that we have creative wisdom. We have understanding, Lord God, and we have supernatural favor and protection. We love you so much, Lord, and we just want to say thank you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen.
Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Okay. I love you guys. Thank you so much. I appreciate y'all for coming on to the JC Uplift. Tell people about this, not for me, but so more and more people can just feel the love of God on a Sunday night. Um, but thank you guys. I hope y'all, hello, all the people that joined while I was praying to the Father. We got my best friend on here. What up, BJ? Okay. I think I'm pressing buttons. I'm sure I should. I shouldn't be. All right. Y'all have a wonderful um, evening. Thank you for all the people that are giving me hearts. I don't even know how to do that, but I surely appreciate them. Um, and until then, love God, love people, and follow your dreams. Have a good night. Bye, guys. Okay, mute.